everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J, and in today's video, I'm gonna be playing with Mel's new palette. Yes, Mel Thompson, my best friend, she did a collaboration with Sydney Grace, and this is her new baby. Congratulations to Mel on her new palette. I'm just so excited to be able to finally play with this palette. Mel has worked so hard on this palette, and I'll show you all the inside of it. This is her in an eyeshadow palette, and Mel has an obsession with little bugs and things like that. She has them tattooed all over her, and so that was the inspiration for this palette, and the names in here are super, super cute. It's all related to the tiny marble and I love the colors and I think that it's just super unique and beautiful so congratulations again to her I'm also doing this video in collaboration with some of my friends here on this platform and this video idea was by Lisa J and Lisa J thank you so much for including me in this the challenge is to create two different looks using four eyeshadows at a time we all picked our quads and so we all are gonna have different looks and we're all going to be using these eyeshadows in a plethora of ways of course like I said the idea is Lisa J's and if you all don't know who Lisa J is please stop and familiarize yourself with her not only is she a content creator but she is also the owner of BK Beauty Brushes and she was recently a guest on our show behind the beauty so if you have not seen that episode Stop, drop, and roll and go check it out. But Lisa J is the bomb.com. But we're also doing this video in collaboration with my girl Alicia, aka Kinky Sweat, aka what? Miss Sweat, if you're nasty, okay? We're also doing this video in collaboration with my girl, Glam Girl Chelsea. Hey, my Glamour Girl. And last but not least, we're doing this collaboration with the beautiful Michelle Wong. I will have all of these ladies' social media platforms listed down below. Please make sure to check out all of our videos and support my girl Mel Thompson. And I will also have her video listed down below in the description box as well. So let's go ahead and get into these looks. I'm doing two looks with four eyeshadows for each look. So let's do it. I'm first going to go into walking stick. I am going to take this as my crease color. So I'm going to take this color and carve it out in my crease and then gradually blend it upwards towards the brow and diffuse it out as a transition color. This color is very pigmented so you just need a tiny bit. So what makes this so funny is that we can only use the colors that are in our quads. So I'm thinking I'm going to go back into walk and stick again and pop that on the outer corner. But I'm going to use a more concentrated brush and really pack this color on the outer corner of the lid. And you see how using a different brush will give you a different color because on the lid it looks a little bit lighter than it does when I built it up in the crease. If we weren't doing this challenge, I would definitely go into a little bit of death moth. Trying to figure out what I want to do because my other colors that I can use for this eye look are Marvel, Mantis, and Scarab. I want to take Mantis and pop that on the lid. Ooh. Okay, that's really pigmented. So I'm going to take some of that and put it on the other side. And tap it to blend. And bring it up to the crease. Okay. I love that. So now my inner corner, I'm going to take the shade Marvel. Very carefully. Pop that here. Blend it over. Let me add some finishing touches to my face and I'll be right back with my liner and lashes done and we can do the lower lash line together. I have done a little bit of things. So now let's come back and do the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go back into the shade Marvel. I'm gonna take that on the inner portion of the lower lash line. And now I'm gonna take the shade Scarab, the last shade in my quad. I'm gonna take this color all the way across the lower lash line. And here's my first look using the Tiny Marvels palette. I'll be right back and we can do look number two. I'm first going to take a fluffy brush and the color Flutter B. Is it Flutter B or Flutter B? Flutter So I'm going to take this as my transition shade. So back and forth in the crease first and then I'm going to blend it up.
So now I'm gonna go into Tree Hopper. And I want this color all over the lid, all the way across, save for the inner corner. But I'm just gonna pack this shade on and this is going to be a really nice, beautiful, neutral lid. And then right on the edge of where that crease color is, I'm just going to lightly blend that out with the edge of this brush with no additional product. And I could have easily switched these colors but I like this way too. It's different, unexpected. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade BB, which is our inside joke. I'm gonna take that and pop it, ooh, okay. Right on the inner corner. And I'm gonna take that on the inner corner on the lower lash line as well. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Flutter B again. And I'm gonna take that all the way across the rest of the lower lash line. To be honest, I don't remember if Mel told me it was called Flutterby or Flutterby. <laughs> and I called her about it. Flutterby? Flutterby. Flutterby. Oh! oh. <laughs> and lastly, I'm going to dip just ever so slightly into web, just a little bit, and take this right underneath the highest points of my brow as my underbrow highlight. Just a little bit. And blend it on down. Those are my quad colors. So now let me go ahead and clean up the rest of my face, add some liner and lashes, and I'll be right back. And here's the finished second look using the Tiny Marvels palette. All right, my loves. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video and you like the two looks that I created with my quads for this challenge. And I hope that you all get a chance to check out the other ladies' videos using Mel's palette because this palette is absolutely beautiful. And I know the other ladies are going to rock these videos because all these colors are gorgeous and it's really fun to challenge ourselves to only using four eyeshadows to create our looks and I look forward to seeing what they created because everybody's looks are going to be different because we all don't have the free reign that we typically would when using an entire eyeshadow palette so it's so fun and congratulations again Mel on this palette I know that she loves bugs she loves tiny marvels and these colors are just right up her alley when I look at this palette I see her written all over it and I know how hard she worked on it and like Mel's comp card says this palette was her vision so now make it yours I cannot wait to see all the looks that you all create using this baby I will have the videos from the other ladies in the collaboration down in the description box as well as Mel's video and a link to this palette so I hope that you all enjoy let me know if you plan on picking it up down in the comments section and I will chat with you all in my very next video which will be super super soon. Smooches. Bye.